Republican Senator Mitch McConnell has glitched again. This is really a horrible thing. Calls for resignation are now running rampant through the halls of Congress. But it has happened again. Mitch McConnell inexplicably freezing, unable to speak, eyes locked, hands gripped onto the lectern, described as either a seizure or maybe less likely a stroke by medical professionals. This happened once during the summer and it happened again yesterday. Let's take a look and then we're going to discuss the medical. But for us being a political rather than medical program, the political implications of this. Take a look. Take a listen. What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh, that's right. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yes. All right. I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator. Penny. Please speak up. And of course, the aide doing what she can to sort of play this off as he didn't hear the question. And that's why he silently stood there gripping the lectern for 20 seconds. But of course, we we know that this is something else that's going on. So a few different things I think are important to discuss here. First, the medical perspective. This is a medical emergency. And after this happened the first time and Mitch McConnell was later asked, did you like in a couple hours later, did did you go to the doctor? And he's just like, oh, what? No, I don't know. I'm fine. This is a medical emergency. And many doctors have weighed in and said that when this happens, this could be a stroke. Although the fact that he seemed to have normal muscle tone afterwards points less in the direction of a stroke and more in the direction of a seizure. Again, this is not me giving up my medical opinion. It's what medical doctors, particularly neurologists, have said this appears to be they this could be a so-called mini stroke, a transient ischemic attack. And it's similar to a stroke, but typically temporary symptoms can resolve very quickly. Even if the symptoms go away, you need immediate medical attention because this can be a sign of a potentially forthcoming larger stroke. And then you have seizures. Now, a lot of times people think a seizure is where there is some kind of convulsion. That is not always the case. It can be a staring spell. It can be what's called a focal seizure. And some doctors have looked at this and said that the fact that McConnell's eyes seem to lock and over to the side and that he's rigid when the aide tries to actually uh, sort of grab his hands uh, from from the side, he seems physically rigid that this maybe points more in the direction of what's called the focal seizure. Regardless, this requires an ER visit. You may need a CT scan, an MRI, blood test, possibly other things. There can be complications. This can signal that there is something bigger forthcoming. Maybe he did go to the ER after the first one or after this one. We don't know. And they're sort of playing coy to minimize the alarm about it. But to be totally honest, not going to the ER is what should alarm people. This is a very serious medical situation now. This then leads into the politics of the entire thing. More people are calling for McConnell to resign. I don't want to focus too much on the hypocrisy. We all know what the hypocrisy is, which is imagine that this had happened once to Joe Biden, never mind twice. This would be 24 seven on Fox News. Republicans would be launching investigations into the cover up of Joe Biden's health. They would be saying he must resign and be replaced immediately. Twenty fifth Amendment must be used, et cetera. OK, they're not doing what with McConnell. They understand the political implications and uh, what, what's going on in terms of balance of control in the Senate. Fine. They're playing politics, whatever. Realistically, it's not a crazy thing to be thinking that it's time for Mitch McConnell to resign. It's not partisan for me. I've talked about Dianne Feinstein. The time has long come and gone for Dianne Feinstein to resign. There are, there are these unfortunate situations where she has no idea what's going on. She will ask a question of a witness during a Senate hearing. The witness will answer. She will look down and immediately ask the same question. No recognition that it's what she just asked. She will meet people multiple times and every time have no recollection of having met them. It's not good. So we have a problem and there are a number of members of the House and or Senate 
uh, who are at a point where they should resign. It's sad. It's a sad situation. You don't want it to get to a point where folks have to have to uh, sort, sort of be convinced to resign. And many people have suggested different ideas here. One would be term limits. So it's not so much about, you know, you, you restrict age because that may be seen as more directly ageist, but maybe it's term limits. And so when someone has been around 30 years, uh, maybe it's a term limit that prevents them from getting to that point. This is primarily sad and a medical concern. And there also are political questions about term limits or forced resignation or whatever. And then lastly, it's the hypocrisy of just imagine what Republicans would be doing if this were Joe Biden. We hope Mitch McConnell gets absolutely the best health care that he can. It is better health care than many people in the U.S. can receive. And that's also another aspect to this, not directly about Mitch McConnell, but about health care access in the United States. All important issues. I will let you know what happens.